everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and this week's featured storybook of the week is The Adventures of Biko, the Unimaginary Friend. Now like the previous videos, this is an interactive shared reading, which means that I'll be incorporating vocabulary throughout the story, as well as asking questions before, after, and during the reading to really engage your child in conversation and point out some main themes and ideas. Now, this book is a Caldecott Medal Award winner of 2015, which means that in that year, it was voted the best illustrated book. So, be prepared for amazing illustrations and a lot of imaginative and fun things for your child to look at and really talk about throughout this story. So, let's get started with our shared reading. All right. So the title of our story is The Adventures of Biko, the Unimaginary Friend, written and illustrated by Dan Santat. Now, my friends, looking at the cover here, who do you think Biko is? Which one? Maybe this guy right here? Hmm. And it sounds like he is an unimaginary friend, huh? My friends, an imaginary friend is a friend who only you can see, who's your very special friend. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yeah? They're a really special friend just for you, huh? So, it sounds like this is an imaginary friend, and I wonder whose friend he is. Also, it sounds like he's going on an adventure. I wonder where he's going to go. What do you think? Yeah. It looks like he's kind of in the city back here. Maybe he goes somewhere in the city. All right, well, let's find out. So here is our title page with our title and who wrote and illustrated the book, Dan Santac. He was born on an island far away where imaginary friends were created. Here, they lived and played, each eagerly waiting to be imagined, really excitedly waiting to be imagined by a real child. My friends, look, there's our friend from the cover. And look at all those different imaginary friends. What kind of friends do you see? Yeah, fish and pandas. So this looks like it's the imaginary world where they live. Every night, he stood under the stars, hoping for his turn to be picked by a child and given a special name. So it sounds like they don't have names yet and they have to wait for their own name. I wonder what his name is going to be. What do you think? Maybe, like our cover, Biko. Do you think that's his name? And I see here, it looks like when you get picked by a special friend, this shiny light comes down and lifts you up to go meet your friend. He waited for many nights. I hope he finds his friend soon, don't you? But his turn never came. My friends, how do you think Biko feels? Kind of sad and lonely, huh? And my friends, look how empty this page is. There's no one there. There's just him, this little crab in the corner, but it's mostly just sand. It must make him feel very alone, huh? When you're all by yourself, that's not a good feeling, is it? His mind filled with thoughts of all the amazing things that were keeping his friend from imagining him. What are some of the things his friend is doing instead of imagining him? Yeah, I see guitar, winning trophies, reading books. So rather than waiting, He did the unimaginable. So unimaginable 
means doing the impossible. Doing things that people think you can't do, and you do them anyways. What does it look like he's doing? It looks like he's sailing away. It looks like he's leaving the imaginary world, and where do you think he's going to go to? Yeah. He sailed through unknown waters and faced many scary things. What do you see here? This huge whale. My friends, it kind of reminds me of the whale that we saw in last week's book, The Day the Cramps Quit, and how gray had a color that huge humpback whale. Looks this big, huh? See Biko right there on the top? But thinking about his friend gave him the courage to journey on. So courage gave him the bravery to do something he was kind of scared to do. But his friend gave him the bravery to keep looking. Until he reached the real world. The real world. I noticed my friends, the look, the real world looks kind of gray. Not as colorful as our imaginary world in the beginning, huh? See how many colors? I wonder what he's going to do in the real world. Do you remember who he's looking for? His special friend. The real world was a strange place. No kids were eating cake. No one stopped to hear the music, and everyone needed nap time. Does it look like Beekle's enjoying the real world? No, it looks like he's kind of lost. It's really different from the imaginary world, home. Huh? Then, he finally saw something familiar. Familiar, so something he knows about, something he's seen before. What is it? What did he see? Maybe this over here? Does this look imaginary or real? It's kind of imaginary, huh? It's blue. So he followed it. Where do you think it's going to take him? Let's find out. My friends, look at this place. Does this place look imaginary or more like the real world? It looks kind of colorful like the imaginary world, huh? Well, Beagle is still in the real world, but he found this place that reminds him of home. Let's see. He had a good feeling about this place because it looks like home, huh? But he looked everywhere and he could not find his friend. Uh-oh. My friends, look at this illustration. I see that if I follow this dotted line, I can see everywhere that Biko looked for his friend. So let's see. It looks like he started off here. Then he went around here. Up the slide. Down. Over out by the octopus. Still no friend. He went curving up, up, up past this dragon, down, through the cloud. Oh, still looking. And then he got to go past the whale and, oh no, has a little question mark here. Means he still can't find his friend. How do you think he feels? Yeah, kind of sad, huh? So... He climbed to the top of a tree and looked out, wishing and hoping his friend would come. I see lots of kids in this tree. I wonder if one of them's his special friend. What do you think? Maybe. Which one do you think it would be? I hope he finds them. But no one came. Oh no. Look at the weather, my friends. Is it windy, sunny, 
Blue skies, cold. It looks kind of windy, huh? Windy and cold. And how does Beagle feel right there? Yeah, he looks sad and lonely again because there's no friend. There's this paper blowing in the wind and a little boy running off. He thought about how far he'd come and how long he'd waited and felt very sad. Then he heard a noise below. Hello! Who do you think that is? Could it be his special friend? Maybe. And look, that paper got stuck in the branch right there. My friends, so this picture has no words. So I wonder, can you tell me what you see? Yeah, I see our friend got that paper down from the tree and is giving it to this girl. Do you think it's a special friend? I hope so. Her face was friendly and familiar and there is something about her that felt just right. It looks like she drew a picture of them. I think she might be the special friend. Okay, this is a fun page. We're gonna see how they became friends. You ready? At first, they weren't sure what to do. Look, it looks like they're kind of looking at each other, looking away, look kind of nervous and shy to be friends. Neither of them have had a friend before. They're kind of waving their arms like, what do we do? But, look, they look kind of uncomfortable, but I think they're going to give each other a second chance. After a little while, they realized, they began to understand that they were perfect for each other. So look up here, it looks like they, they're starting to laugh. And then look, she says, Alice. That must be her name. She's introducing herself and telling her name. So when she tells her name, this is when the friend would say his name. But look, he doesn't know what his name is. I remember that in the beginning, it said that the special imaginary friends had to wait for their friend to give them a special name. Do you know what name she's going to give him? Biko? You're right. She said Biko, and does he like that name? It does. Look how happy he is. His face is all red and happy. I'm Biko, he said with a huge smile. Hi, people. And they hugged, and there's little hearts. I think they're going to be best friends. Beagle and Alice had many new adventures. They shared their snacks, and they told funny jokes. So those are things you do with your friends. What are some things that you do with your friends? Those all sound like a lot of fun. What a fun time you must have. Looks like they're eating cupcakes, telling jokes. What are they doing over here? Drawing pictures. I like to color with my friends. The world began to feel a little less strange. My friends, look at all these pictures down here. I see a lot of pictures of things that Biko had done his journey through the imaginary world. Do you see things here you remember from the book? Yeah, I see the tree, the dragon, the whales, the nighttime sky. And who's over here? Who do you think this guy is? A new friend? And it looks like he also has an imaginary friend. He kind of looks like the one that Biko is following, huh? Let's see what adventure they go on. And together, with all of their new friends, they did the unimaginable. So together they went on all these amazing adventures. Where do you think they're going to in this picture? Yeah, 
looks like they're on a boat again. And I see all their imaginary friends over here and all of their real friends in the boat. My friends, it looks like when you have friends, you have the courage and the bravery to do things that people think are impossible. You can do anything when you have a friend by your side, huh? The end. That was such a fun story. What was your favorite part? Yeah, well, I really liked how this book was about friendship and imagination and how when you have a friend by your side, you have the courage to make things a little less scary and to really do the impossible things. All right, so for parents and teachers, all the additional resources, including the vocabulary that I used, some main ideas, and a craft inspired by this story can be found on my blog, My Storybook, by clicking on the link below. And this craft this week is pretty cute. Uh, you can make your own beacles. Really fun, easy, simple craft using cotton balls and a paper cutout. You can make a crown. You can also encourage kids to make up their own imaginary friend with a cutout. So just using different colors, and these are pipe cleaners, little puff balls, um, some puffy paint, and googly eyes. So these are fun little reading buddies, again, that you can make. Again, that craft is up on my blog, my storybook, for you to check out using that link. And remember, new read aloud videos and storybook blog posts come out every Friday. So please comment, like, and subscribe to this video to keep up with the read alouds. And I look forward to seeing you next Friday for our new reading adventure. And until then, happy reading!